Good evening. A high school English teacher is charged tonight with five felony counts of having sex with students. Arlington police say the sex parties were happening off campus at the teacher's house. Fox 4's Laurie Berger live now in our Fort Worth newsroom with the details. Laurie. Well, the arrest affidavit spells out in explicit detail what is said to have happened. In it, two of the five alleged victims say they repeatedly had sex with their teacher. It kind of spread really fast. Samantha Rhodes says it's been the talk of Kennedale High School since last week. Rumors that English teacher Brittany Collups was having sex with students. This morning, the 27-year-old turned herself in on five felony counts of having an inappropriate teacher-student relationship. There were five students at the house and that each of them um, claimed to have had sexual intercourse with the teacher during, those, during that time also. In one day? In the same session. The arrest warrant affidavit says the five teenagers, all 18 and older, gathered at Collip's Arlington home on several occasions in March and April to have group sex with the English teacher, army wife, and mother of three. I think it's really weird, like, it's gross. Arlington police say the young men's stories matched and that investigators found texts, explicit pictures, even video of sex acts on the teenagers' phones. Collips is suspended with pay from her job. Today, the Kennedale ISD released a statement for parents which says, please know that the safety and security of your child and all Kennedale ISD students is extremely important. As the alleged acts occurred off campus, once Kennedale ISD personnel were put on notice, immediate action was taken. Collips' attorney says he hopes people reserve judgment. I hope that everybody lets this case play out. Don't jump to any conclusions uh, and please respect everybody's privacy. Collett's attorney says that her husband is in the Army, that he's based in Louisiana, but he took a leave to come back and help raise the $125,000 bond. The attorney says he may also take their children back with him to Louisiana. Live in the Fort Worth newsroom, Laurie Barriger, Fox 4 News. So, Laurie, if all these young men are technically then adults, explain why this is a crime. Well, what was told to me by the attorney is that in the state of Texas, regardless of age, you have that teacher-student relationship, and so that unequal power gives the teacher an advantage, even though the age difference really isn't that much. It makes it a crime. It's a felony. All right, even though they're 18. All right, Laurie Berger, thanks very much.